Yep. I mean, like, I, I heard a long time ago. Oh, Cloud. Okay, All so right. we were both totally wrong. All right. Someone told me a long time ago that S2 is the character you enjoy playing the most. All right. All right. Cool. So we're starting off. Now this, this could, I, like, Ganondorf gets outranged, just plain and simple. Uh, ooh, that was a really nice little pivot grab, though, yeah. to start it off. I mean, definitely, like, Cloud, if he had his Smash 4 Nair, this would be a free win for Cloud. But, you know, mm -hmm. that Nair is just so stubby, you know, and, and it feels like all the range on Cloud's Nair just went to Ganondorf. It's <laughs> like, oh, my God, that, that Ganondorf, like, boots they really be, like, packing a punch. I gotta say, though, Ganondorf's there even in 4 was kind of busted. Like, I always thought it was, like, a really good move. Um, but, yeah, it's it's definitely not something you want to trifle with at all. Right. Oh, my goodness. Just going in there with that wizard's foot. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. This is that time to convert. All right. This is the time when, like, you need to, like, know Whoa. how to snap your ledge. No, my guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, giving that one to Ganondorf for sure. Okay. Right. Nice, uh, nice cross-up. Try to get that side B. And again, just a jab off the punish. You should be able to get a bigger punish off of that. I know at least like a forward smash or like even a side B will do more damage than like just gentlemen's. Yeah, but you know, sometimes like sometimes you just got to take the punish that you get, you know, right. like especially when like positional advantage comes into play. Wow, that was a nice uh, hitting him in the back of that forward air. Okay, and Big Gums has to get a, I think he has to put a little bit more pressure onto the ledge there because Hornet was just basically allowed to get on for free. Right. And yet again, like, you saw him, like, looking for something and be like, no, I'm just going to back off. I feel like you're Cloud. You have a giant sword. Use it off stage. What's Ganondorf going to do? Yeah, especially since it's Ganondorf and yeah. his disadvantage state is completely atrocious. Oh, okay, yeah. That spot dodge is not doing any favor whatsoever. Okay. Ooh, okay. Interesting going for the B reverse. You know, probably looking for the cross up. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I, I really think he tried to optimize that. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that was a, that was a re-grab. That was a free down air. But you know what? If you don't respect Ganondorf, he's going to punish you for it. And I like that, just delaying his up B so he wouldn't get hit by the down air. Yeah, down air, that seemed like a really obvious option. I'm pretty sure uh, Big Gum saw that a mile away. Ooh. Ooh he yeah. will take that trade any day of the week. Oh, yeah. Was he, like, 170? Yeah. Yeah, definitely take that. I and mean, this is the part where, like, like where Hornet is just basically, I'm calling him Hornet. Side is doing his best to just make uh, Big Gum's whiff. Okay. Nice! See what oh, I'm saying? Right. Whip punish for sure. That was sick. Right. I feel like Big Gums is definitely just throwing out a lot of moves, just hoping they'll hit. And then no, yeah. Ganondorf is just punishing him for all this. That's all that Ganondorf is really supposed to do. It's just like, I'm going to wait for you to do something, you know, pretty stupid, and then I'm going to hit you. <laughs> One hit will do like 20. Nicely done. Ooh, I mean, super greedy with that forward smash. But I mean, like, what are you going to do? Like, just normal get up? Like, it's, if, at worst, like, I get dash attack, maybe, like, nared. I mean, if he hits that shield, it's so much shield damage, and it could probably be uh, safe if you get that max range on it. Nice. And yet again, just a single nair off of that punish. I, I, I feel like Big Gums could get a lot bigger punishes. If you would see, there we go. That's that what good. you need to do off stage. You need to actually like go off and edge guard him. Yeah, I agree. If he's not going to be ledge trapping, then yeah. Ooh, there Ooh. we go. That's it. Um. Okay. Uh, the one thing that I see from side. Um, I did totally fine there, but I think he could mix up his um, his edge guarding a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like it's always down there. Like you can like just turn around, nair him into the stage, and then put him into that tech situation. Or go for that like reverse hip up up air. Yeah. Oh my God. People don't. I don't see Ganondorf do that anymore. Like I, I feel like they they only do that to each other because they know yeah. like they can hit that on each other. Yeah. It's like I feel like they forgot they can do that. Uh, yeah. Up air is really sick for that. Just turn around and get that final like the last couple of frames of that uh, up air, and then you just turn them. You you. You just like shift them into another different direction. Yeah, you just like you just go yoink, and then like they, they take the double jump, and then you're all of a sudden you're dead. Especially against Cloud, yeah, that yeah. would work, man. That would totally work. Cause what's Cloud gonna do? He can probably like side beat, you know, just stall himself in the air. Even then, like Cloud doesn't really want to do that in this game. But yeah. here we go, quick dash attack and into side B. Wow, just waiting for him to pick a tech option. Yeah, and I like how side's not even afraid to do that side B. It's like, yeah, no respect. You gotta do it. Oh yeah, okay. Ne oh yeah, not the punish. Yeah, yeah, up B would have worked. Yeah, like if you if you're gonna do any punishment, oh my god, watch your shield there, bro. Yeah, but it's like a marble. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like now he's getting hurt for that. Now he's getting hurt for that. Like he has to change it up just a little bit. Well, I like that, just weaving in and out to avoid uh, Gendorf's hit. Oh, nice. Ba oh, oh my goodness. My <laughs> I mean, your cloud. You have one of the best uh, out of shield options in the game with that form of the up B. If he does anything on your shield, up B and like punish him for it. Yeah. That's a free punish for you. Yeah. 
I, I think in the neutral too, uh, Big Gums could really do with more of the cross ups too, because like Ganondorf hates getting hit in the back. It, right. And like Cloud has so much speed, it shouldn't really be too big of an issue being able to win neutral. Because right. yeah. I, I think where Cloud loses is when he starts uh, yeah. getting punished. Oh no. Yeah. And see, like, there was that air dodge there, but you have so much end lag after that air dodge. You can just run off and nair, and then, like, he's dead. Yep, basically. Like, uh, like I feel like he's just respecting Ganondorf way too much off stage and I just agree. letting him gut back on the ledge for free. I agree. He, he's already a stock behind. Like, he really can't afford to just let Ganondorf do whatever he wants. Yeah. Like, he's probably afraid of up B, which I get, but... Uh, I mean, you can always just tech it and, like, yeah. rock rock him for it, too. Exactly, exactly. That's actually one of the biggest things that uh, sucks in the Ganondorf matchup uh, for him. Because right. okay. like you need a fair off of that and just like kill him like right out. Yep. Okay. Okay. That looked like an accidental roll and then he kind of panicked. All right. Let's see. Get back here. Okay. Nice. Um, he could have gotten a punish there, but I mean, hey, you know, he I didn't mean, get hurt. He, yeah. He didn't get hurt. Okay. Nice. Snapping the ledge. And yet again, you know, uh, just re yeah. The, the, I feel like that's what a lot of like mid to low level low level players do. It's like as soon as they get up from ledge, roll. You know. Yeah. Or just like don't change the option at all. Oh, that looked like a two frame to me, Bucko. That looked like a two frame to me. Okay, he rolled again. And yet again, no, not really. I feel like he just threw it out just so that he wouldn't lose it, but I feel like it was so obvious too. Yeah, I mean, he did a lot of shield damage. He just, Bigum's uh, biggest issue seems to be pressuring and punishing right. in, in general. Like he gives side too much space to live. Okay, we're making it. We're making it for sure. Okay, and he is doing the rolls a lot. I, right. I think side could do with uh, catching those rolls a lot more. Right. And I like that. I know getting the back air, but now he air dodge and you no, know he's just sitting there charging limit at ledge. Like, if he's going to go that far off stage, and I like that parrying it into the down air, but or down tilt. But you know, oh. you really got to capitalize on this. And you no, know he rid the tech roll away and got the dash attack. Yep. There. Okay. Yeah. There's no planet where that doesn't kill. The move is so strong. Oh yeah. All right, get your limit, buddy. Oh, okay. Oh my god. He could just do that for free. He had the yeah. invulnerability. And that's the thing. He's, he's really trying to approach even when his shield looks like that. But it's really not too small, actually. Right. I take that back. Nice. OK. I mean, I feel like Big Gums is finally like playing the matchup like you should at this point. You know, using your sword to kind of just like wall Ganondorf out. Mm. He's definitely punishing it a lot more things on shield. Ooh. But I feel like he wanted to go through the platform there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Keep chasing him. Yep. He's off stage. No, he keeps don't charging the limit. I don't know why he lets him just get back for free. I okay, mean, there we go. Hey, I mean, that was a big flub on side's part. I mean, you know <laughs> what? I'll, I'll accept getting the limit because, you know what? Like, if he got the limit, he had limit on deck. And, you know, that, that, at that percent, you know what? That's an even bigger fear. And, you know, I feel like when you're in the lead like that, you don't want to risk losing everything right. off stage. You right. Know? That's happened to a lot of people, myself right. included. So definitely when he was in a situation where he didn't necessarily have to fish for that kill immediately, you know, just charge limit and then see if you get a cross slash like he did there. And then he did and he managed to get the game. Yeah. I think it was, uh, I think that was a big flub on side's part. And yeah. like, I'm going to side B you. And yeah. Because it worked the first time. I mean, yeah. that side B is like a decent option off ledge because like a lot of people aren't expecting it. But you have to make sure they're like right near ledge when you go for it because otherwise yeah. it's super slow. Yeah. I know Incineroars like to do that a lot too because it <laughs> gives them like a free 25% and stage control. All right. Okay, that was a good grab. That was actually a really good grab out of that uh, that sour spot. Like Ganondorf gets a lot of stuff off of his sour spot on his dash attack. It's right. kind of surprising, actually. Ganondorf just gets a lot of things off of his dash attack in general. Yeah, he does. He does. Okay, looking pretty even right about now. Okay, right. getting out range. Look at this. And yet again, keeping him in the air, keeping him juggled. But yeah, I like that. You know, he went for the fair or four tilt and didn't find it. But you know, what? he was just like, okay, you're a dodge anyway, so I'm gonna get you in the opposite direction. Mm. Now I think side is starting to get a little. I mean, it was only that one down B. You know. You, Get the coin flip. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right. Oh, there Ooh. we go. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I just understand that his character does get outranged by this character, right. by Cloud. Who gets jabbed off the? Is that? No, he misspaced it. Yeah, I'm just like he, he did it way too early. Yeah, that Nair had some promise too. Okay, yeah. okay, backing off. That was smart. Got his uh, shield damage and just kind of went away. I like that. Yeah. Definitely, I feel like Big Gums is playing this a lot better than the game one. And I feel like he's definitely improving as the set goes on. I agree. I agree. Just want to see Side do a little bit more adaptation himself. Because he, he's just going aggro. Right. Not too aggro, but... Mm. I mean, definitely not being careful either. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. I think he has to respect the Big Gums option. All right. More. You know, I, I, I feel like that's the other thing that a lot of middle-level players do is that they just go for dash attack. You know, like, mix it up with a dash grab. If, if, you, if you know, like, they're going to shield, like, dash grab or just, like, 
empty hop into like up air or like a tomahawk. Do, do, do something other than just run up dash attack. Dash dance. Yeah. Yeah. Ganondorf is really scary when he starts dash dancing in front of your face like that. Right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Marble shield. Yeah. I, you know, I, I respect the option of retreating the ledge there. You know, get to in time to uh, replenish the shield. True. Okay. And yet again, I, I respect the option to just stay in shield because you know a lot of people like when they see Gandalf in front of you, they, there's like, oh, he's gonna dash grab me or something. Let me jump, and so he avoided getting uh, <laughs> married. But yet again, catching that jump from ledge with the cross slash, and you know he has the lead, so can he just hold on to this? That's all he has to do. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's a. Ooh, just uh, just a little too little too heavy with that up air. I'm not sure. Ooh, there Ooh, we go. That's yeah. a death for sure. Yeah. Man, Big I'm just trying to put that pressure on immediately. I like yeah. it though, because uh, that was uh, one of his problems earlier in the set. Nice, yeah. okay. Ooh, gets the forward air, but not oh. able to connect into it. Yeah, that could have really sucked for Ganondorf if he kept pushing with that side B. All right. Okay. Oh, gets the back air and. You know what? I like that because Ganondorf doesn't have a really real good out sheet option, so you can just go for that one two and then just like back off. Exactly. Exactly. Nice that up tilt. Oh, oh I, li I liked it. He was waiting for something. Almost looked like he found it, but you know, a side just barely avoiding it at the last minute. Yeah, trying to get those frame traps on lock. Right. Oh, there's that side B finally. Oh, dude, that could be it. Yeah, that could that's be it. it. That's it. If only he charged like ah uh, nah, nah, uh, it matter. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, that was pretty even. Yeah.